At the start of this movie, we see a man is making a tattoo on his body, the old man tells him the tattoo shows the nature of the skin, it shows the five huge traits, like a warrior, artist or farmer, etc. If making tattoo needle will difficulty goes on your skin or you feel pain, maybe it means the path you have chosen will not suit you, it may not be good for you. He says to the old man what are you saying? You insulted me, saying this, you insult me. Meanwhile, a boy comes and says boss there is a letter for you, when he opens it, black sand comes out of that letter. The old man tells before many years I have seen a man opening an envelope like this, they laugh like you are laughing, he comes out of the shadow, their laugh sunk in the blood, they ask what comes out of shadow? The old man says I can't speak that word, at that night, their blade stabs in my chest, now my heart is on the right side. When they see that mark they say it is looking like ninja, were you feeling nervous to say, ninja? They make fun of him, suddenly, the head of one of them detaches from his body, they all get worried, they make their guns ready. They move here and there to stay alert, for the person who is killing them. Meanwhile, a wire comes there it surrounds a man's foot and lifts him up, when he falls down he divides into many pieces, seeing this, they all become aggressive, they start firing without thinking anything, on another side, the man who was standing near snooker club, his body divides into two pieces, because the person who died had sharp weapons, with it, we see one more man whose feet are cut with a sharp wire, and he grovels down. Some ninja blades come to a man who was firing, they hit him and his companions, due to it, they start bleeding and divides into many parts, but one of them survives, he says whoever you are? I will give you triple money for whom are you doing all this? The old man says this is useless, he is not a human but a demon. Ninja also kills the old man while attacking him with his sword, he also kills him actually, he was a ninja. After it, we see a scene of a headquarter, a case was being discussed there, a forensic researcher named Mika brings a pile of files, those were evidence, that agent and Mika were talking about the case, a boy says I found something, this is a report. I have a friend in another country I know he has a lot of knowledge, he told me about this report. According to him, these are the possibilities many political murders were done by an old network, maybe there are some no clans behind them, now the lady asks the friend in another country, what happened to him? He says exactly the same that will happen to me if I will stay with you, I will be called insane and will terminate, the girl asks are you sure? He says yes, they are called ninjas. She says then why are you doing all this? He says I don't know but I guarantee you that you are a good researcher, you will be succeeded. The old man was telling many boys you should leave now, to know about who you are? Where are you from? And what do you have to do? Let me tell you, you are Ozanu and this is the truth of your life, it will remain true after death. He introduces his new son to everyone and says I named him Rizo, now he is your brother. During Rizo's training, his masters make him understand that if you have no strength, you will not be able to suffer anything ever, and can't become strong, so overcome your weakness. In this training, he has to pass the floor silently, if there will be a little noise this training will be useless, but this small boy means Rizo couldn't pass the floor silently, here he makes noise, so his masters hit stick on his feet as a punishment. He was a brave kid, at that time, his feet were bleeding but even then he completes his training. Meanwhile, we see a boy who is training with his weapons, here he remembers his past when he was young, two boys were fighting, because the ninja training was going on, when the boy fell his master puts his hand in his belly and takes his blood, due to it, he gets injured, and his master says to the boy this is genuine pain, learn to bear the pain. You shouldn't lose and he locks him in a room as a punishment, so that he will come to know what is pain? He was also not given the food, Rizo as a kid does more training than before, here his past is being told. Then he starts fighting with a boy with a sharp weapon, there was a sharp wire also hanging with it, but the different thing of this fight was those kids were fighting with the blindfolds, finally, Rizo throws the boy far at a distance while stucking his wire in his feet, like this Rizo wins this level. They were sitting at the dining table, the old man says to the boys the body should work as we want, like hunger or thirst? Even the blood in our veins is the weakness of our body, so you have to overcome it, you should learn how to do this, with it, control yourself, this is the real power of Ozanu and the path of a ninja. He says have dinner at night and tomorrow you have to do double work, actually, the small kid is a boy named Rizo, he is remembering all this. In the next scene, the researcher Lady Mika goes to the wife of the man, it means to the house of that agent, Mika asks what happened? She tells her before two years, after a murder this report gave attention. After it, everything was different my husband hired people, he changed all the locks, even there were locks everywhere. There were cameras also then one day a man comes to the door, 
They both talk in my husband's study room, the young man leaves and my husband was a soldier. He was also a member of the Russian intelligence, he wasn't scared of anyone but when I go to the door I saw fear in his eyes, but he was standing with courage, he encourages me and says that he loves me so much, he also says to me that I have to remember this always, Mika asks her do you what they talk about? She tells her no, then she asks how he died? She tells her the lights were off and you are the first researcher who asked about my husband, you have taken their case seriously, it will be better to know, that he does not die without reason. Mika says it means really there is a reason behind his death, then she gives her a box, and she says she wanted you to see this. As Mika opens the box there was some footage, when she plays the footage there was the boy, whose name is Rizo. Rizo remembers all this, that how that old man trained him, in the next scene Mika, was searching about the agent's wife, her colleague comes and asks that you have worked a lot with the agent, you also went to lunch with him. She says how do you know all this? Yes, we often lunch together. It usually happens when we are working together, here they are talking about another agent. His name is Agent Maslow, her colleague asks Mika has he done any different behavior with her? And you don't feel it good? So Mika says no, but why? Has Maslow done anything? Her colleague says I am just asking generally, because he has much workload. In the next scene, Mika meets Maslow, she tells him all situations, how her colleague comes to her to asks about Maslow, Maslow says that we have to be careful. You will not do anything without asking me. Going from there, Mika reads about the orphanage, where the 10 year old boys are given ninja training. Then we see the old man who is talking to a girl, her name was Kiriko. The old man says her to cut this with a blade, she doesn't do this, the old man hits the blade on her face. He says you knew the rule, Rizo comes to Kiriko, because he wants to help her. It was raining at night, Kiriko was running and Rizo also runs after her, he says to her, Why are you doing this? The old man will take out your heart, Kiriko says he can't do this, she also says him to run with her, but he says this is my life, saying that she leaves. After some time, we see Rizo's picture in Mika's hand, then we see the agent and Mika meets, the agent says Mika to pack her bag, go on holiday, with it, he also gives her a gun, he says it is untraceable and it has no serial number, it is safe to keep. Now Mika goes to her office there some ninjas attack her, Rizo comes to save her and he tells her they will kill her. After it, we see they are going in a car, Mika asks him where are we going? They are following us, Rizo says I know they are chasing us, Mika says I couldn't see them, Rizo says they will search us through our scent, she introduces herself to Rizo. She says to him you are an orphan, right? Now Mika asks him but why did you save me? Here Rizo sees some flashbacks, he remembers everything. When the old man told them about a man, who was wearing the gold watch Rizo kills him, he gives that gold watch to the old man. The old man says you have proved it, that you are my real son. After it, he orders him to kill Kiriko because she tried to run from the orphanage, he says this is the rule, whoever will run from the orphanage will be killed, because the person is a deceiver, but this isn't the right thing, that's why Rizo kills the old man instead of the girl. So they attack him, and he fell into the water from the building, Rizo tells this to Mika, Mika asks are you asking for help? He says no I want your help to search for Ozanu. Rizo asks her to change her dress, and he spreads his scent on her. Mika tells everything to the agent on the phone, she says I trust him, the agent with whom she talked brings Rizo to him, but the new agent caught him. Mika tries to make the agent understands that he is not an enemy, he says you said that we have to stop him, Mika tries to stop him, she says he is not like this and he says listen to me carefully. There is someone who is trying to pull this long rope, Mika says they want to kill him, he is fighting with them for years, he says I trust you. Now in the next scene, Mika makes Rizo drinks water, and she tells him Maslow is also with you, he also wants to help you. Then we see the ninjas attack there, they attack the soldiers there, they cut someone's neck or fire on others, they attack their chest while using their sword, due to this, there was blood everywhere. Ninjas attack because they want to kill Rizo, because it was their rule they kill the person who doesn't obey them, no matter he would be their own companion, Mika hurriedly opens his handcuff, meanwhile, one more assassin comes there. Now because Rizo was released from handcuffs he saves Mika and also throws that assassin on the wall, due to it, the assassin was killed. They come out but many assassins attack them on their way, Rizo says Mika to go from here. While saying I will control it you can go, escaping from everyone, Mika was running towards the car once again a great fight is shown, Rizo is shown while fighting with ninjas. While using his weapons nicely he kills all assassins one by one, because Rizo was a good assassin. Ninja was about to kill Rizo, but Mika saves Rizo while hitting him with the car, 
Now Rizo was faint. Mika says I know it is useless to say because you are not in your senses, I am just a forensic researcher. It is a good way to say I am a librarian. I can't do anything, to help you, I just want to say thank you to save my life. After it, we see the officers come to hold him while tracking, there Mika says they take him before 10 minutes, those ninjas hold Rizo and take him back to the old man. Now the old man ties him to kill him. He says today everyone will see and remember his death time for years, because the old man means his master has caught him and will punish him badly, Rizo's master stabs his fingers in Rizo's belly and starts twisting his fingers badly, so that Rizo will pain, but Rizo was so brave so he bears the pain. The agency's people come there and start firing, due to it, everyone starts running here and there, here Mika opens Rizo's rope and makes him free, she was fighting with the agency people but Rizo goes to his training unit, there he does his training always. Meanwhile, the other ninjas come there and they were the ninjas who did their training with him in childhood, they say we will fight again like before, they start fighting, Rizo was alone but there were ninjas around him and they were attacking him continuously. While escaping from their attack, Rizo flies in the air, then coming down he kills them one by one, then he comes to the senior ninja he cuts his fingers while using his weapon. When he was about to lift a weapon with his other hand, he attacks again on his hand, he cuts his neck, he has killed him badly. Because of the sharp weapon he had, he stabbed in his neck. Now in the last Rizo fight with his master means the old man, it occurs to the place where he does training to walk silently, because Rizo was a student and the old man was his master, Rizo can't go forward from his master. The master hits him again and again, he attacks him but Rizo can't say anything to him. But then Rizo attacks his master with courage, and moves speedily from him, so that master couldn't stop him, it happens the same. Meanwhile, some people from the agency come there to save him Rizo was fighting with the old man. Mika comes to save him, the old man also kills Mika. In the end, he shoots his master's shoulder and kills him badly, but luckily, Mika was alive yet. In the last scene, Rizo remembers the scene, when Kiriko asks him to run with her. The movie ends here with this flashback. Here the movie ends but not our recap, our recap will end when you do like, and don't forget to subscribe guys, because the next level recaps will come on this channel. And let me know guys in comment box, your favorite types of movies like, horror, sci-fi, romance, thriller or action. So I can make video on them.